What's up, pool fans? Josh Powell here, bringing you another amateur match today. Uh, we got a different type of game, though. I'm just kind of a fun little game. This is called Carom Pool. Similar to 8-Ball, uh, but you break the, the rack, and after you break the rack, you no longer hit the uh, cue ball. You're going to hit your object ball off of the cue ball and try to make it. So one person solids, one person stripes. If you don't hit the cue ball or you scratch the cue ball, then your opponent gets ball in hand, which means they can place the cue ball anywhere they want, but they still have to play their balls off of that cue ball. So let's check it out. Uh, this is myself, Josh Powell versus Brian, uh, Brian Scott. Uh, Brian's racking. I'm going to break. Let's get into it. It's a pretty fun game. We recorded this at my house, uh, the Powell Pool Hall, I like to call it. Really, it's my fucking basement, but uh, you know, you know how it is. It's my pool room, so that's what, that's what I call it. All right, so Brian racked us up here. I'm getting ready to break. I remember after I break, I can no longer hit the cue ball. Nobody, nobody hits the cue ball anymore. If I scratch like that, he can now put the cue ball wherever he wants on the table. So it's still open. He can choose solids or stripes. And the objective is still making the eight ball after you make all your solids or stripes. Uh, but you have to do it off of the cue ball. Oh, I'm sorry. Scratch on the break has to go on the spot. That's right. Scratch on the break is on the spot. Not anywhere. So he's going to try to take solids here. It looks like he's going to shoot the four off the, the cue ball into the corner. It's a good shot, Brian. This is a fun game if you guys uh, want to try it. teaches you a lot of tangent lines, a lot of English. There's a lot of creative ways you can try to do it. I don't know if he was trying to draw it straight back into that pocket by him there. I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. That's going to bring me to the table, and I am stripes. So we're going to see what I got coming up here. Now, we were playing this on a Saturday night, so we had a couple uh, soda pops, let's call them. <laughs> so uh, the gameplay may be a little longer than it normally would, but uh, it's fun. You know, it's always a good time. So right now, it looks like we're sitting there chit-chatting about something. Uh here I come. Come on, Josh. Get up there and take your damn shot. Don't have all day. We don't have all day to wait for you here, man. Give me a, a non-sponsored drink while I'm at it. All right. Here I come. So he is solids, and I am stripes. Prime shot here is shooting the nine ball into the side. Getting off the cue ball. It's really the, the best shot I got, so I'm sure I'm shooting that. Yep. There we go. Hit that a little hard. A little hard. I almost missed it. Now we got to get creative because there's nothing easy here. Nothing straightforward. Shoot the 15 all the way up in the corner. This will be a fun shot. It's a tough one, though. Really helps you with your shapes and your cue ball control this game does because you really get precise on where the where the cue ball is going to go after it makes contact in a normal game. There we go. It's a good shot. It's a good shot. This game's not easy. It's not an easy game. And it's summertime, so I'm putting my glove on. It's a little bit sticky and humid, so uh, nothing I hate worse than when my stick starts grabbing my hand, you know. I don't like wearing a glove normally. But when it gets warm and sticky like that, I've got to gotta have a damn glove on. All right. I'm going to have to put a little draw on this one because there's no straight tangent line here. Try to draw it over into the corner. Nice shot. Nice shot. You can do combos as well, but you have to come off of the cue ball and then make your combo. Same with banks, you know. You play it pretty, pretty similar to regular eight ball, only... Everything has to go off the cue ball. Everything has to carry them. So I think I'm, I'm not trying to combo here. I'm trying to go past that 10. Almost got it. Tight pocket. Tight pocket. It's going to bring Brian back up here to the table. 
Leave me a comment if you guys try this game. Let me know what you think about it. I, I enjoy playing it. It really puts a new facet on the game. You learn a lot of shots that you wouldn't normally take. Uh, it's a lot of fun. A lot of control. Really gets you familiar with your English and your shapes in regular pool. So I'm going to play a 13 over into that corner where I just tapped it. This obviously requires either a hard stun, which it looks like I'm, I'm doing right now, or I could hit it lightly with draw. I went with the stun. That's twice. That's twice I hung that ball up in the pocket. I think I made one of his as well. I thought I saw something else drop, but I didn't see what it was. All right, he's going for the side pocket with that two ball. You better watch the scratch here. He's, he's shooting directly at the scratch. He overcut it. Now this gets tricky because you see my ball's frozen to that white ball, so <clears throat> there's not a lot I can do with it. If my ceilings in my basement were higher, I might be able to mass A and just hit the cue ball and then draw the, the 10 straight back into that pocket, but my ceilings are pretty low in my basement, so I can't mass A down here very good. Well, at all, really, unless I had a short stick. So I'm going up in this corner closest to the camera here. It's a pretty touchy shot when they're that close together, though. It's hard to, hard to judge it. Looks like I did pretty well there, though. Finally coming out of my slump I've been in. Been in a slump for a couple weeks now. I'm finally coming out of it. Starting to feel good. Starting to run out again. So, hallelujah, amen to that, man. There's nothing worse than playing bad. I'm doing the same thing here, but up in the other corner, which would be their corner to our right. Oh, that one looks way off. Whew. Mr. Buy Diamond and a half. Now, this is what you don't want to do in Karim. See where I left that cue ball by the pocket? Now, if he hits his shots lightly, he can leave the cue ball by the pocket. And he hit it pretty hard. But had he left that cue ball by the pocket, he could have made a lot of his balls into that same pocket. So it's real easy to carry him when the ball's close to a pocket like that. So same as if you, if you get ball in hand, usually you put the cue ball by a pocket and just hit a couple in real slow and light. Try not to move the cue ball much. He's trying to bank this one. Tried to carry him bank. Pretty creative, but in the in doing so, he didn't leave me shit. I can't even, I don't even think I can hit that cue ball. I don't think I can hit the cue ball. I'm going to try to kick at it, it looks like, or mass A or something. I don't know. I'm going to get creative. There's really no shot here, so just got to try to get creative. Probably kick two rails is what I'm looking at right here, unless I try to go three rails. Oh, I'm jumping. This will be fun. It's a jump carom shot. Good times. Good times had by all. I don't know who I think I am trying this shot, but shit. Oh, no, I'm going to jump bank carom. What the hell? My mind just blew. Mind blown. Jump bank carom. This is stupid. It's about how I expected it to go right there. <laughs> it's about what I expected. But the main thing is I got that 13 kind of out in the open now. So now uh, if he gives me another shot, I should be able to see the cue ball unless he hides it. He's going to try to draw off the cue ball and, and put it over into that corner. That's going to send the cue ball up table towards my 13, so he's got to be careful with that. Yeah, I just told him he had ball in hand because I didn't make contact with the cue ball. So he's going to put it by a pocket here. He should. I advised him to. I can't remember if he did or not. I told him he should put it by the corner pocket and just lightly feed everything off of it, you know. It's easier to keep it there when it's a corner pocket. See what he does. He's thinking about it here. He's not 100% certain. He's, he's kind of lining up for one ball, the two ball. You know, once he makes that, it's not really going to have another shot because that cue ball is going to drift over on the rail by the seven. Yeah. I kind of remember this. I remember telling him he should put it in the corner, you know, because it'd be a lot easier to keep it there. He did nice, though. He played it real soft, so he's going to get two out of it. Now the six ball should go pretty easily, but he's got to hit this one a little bit, so he will move the cue ball here. Yeah. Good shot. Oh, he ended up good on the seven, though. He should be able to graze the, the cue ball and make the seven in that other corner. This is a good shot. See if he does it. Good try. It's close. Oh, he came up here. So now I have a look at the cue ball. 
It's weird saying that, right? I got to look at the cue ball. Um, no gray shot. I'm probably just going to graze the edge of it and try to bank back to that corner I'm standing. Yeah, right where I'm pointing right there. If I can get it back there, it should be good to go. And that should put the cue ball over somewhere by the three ball so I can shoot the eight. Let's see. Ah, missed it. It gets tough, but this is the fun part of the game, right? You got to get creative with your shots. You got to think outside the box and uh, look for stuff that you wouldn't normally do in a regular game. That's what makes this game fun. That was a good shot right there. Brian made a good shot. What's he going to do here? Is he going to try the side pocket? Yep, side pocket. I think I just spit all over my keyboard. The foot. Good try at it. That was a good try. Oh, almost put a timing shot and scratched. I don't think he if, – if I can see that cue ball, this goes in the, in the side pocket pretty easy. But I'm not sure I can see it past the eight. We're going to find out. I'm pointing to it. I must be able to. Yep, good shot. Oh, man. See, this is tough because if I graze the side of the cue ball, it's such a thin hit. Might want to hit the cue ball full and just use follow. I think that's what I'm doing. Looks like I'm going to try to just follow it. Yeah, I didn't hit it right, but if you know if you hit the cue ball and use follow, the, the object ball is going to roll forward afterwards. So that's what I tried to do there. Missed it. Gave Brian another opportunity. I like shooting the seven ball up in the corner by the camera. That's what I like doing here. It's really his best shot. Yep, he sees it. He's going to go for it. See if he can make it. Good try. It was a good try. Does he give me a shot? Yes, I do have a shot. I do have a shot here. I go up in the corner opposite of where he was just trying. Why am I going that way? That's stupid. That's from all them pops I was drinking. <laughs> Not thinking clear there. I should have went the other. The other corner is a lot easier just because the cue ball is closer that way. I don't have to maneuver it as much. Yeah. See, that was dumb, dumb, M-U-D, mud. What a moron. All right, what's he got here? Where's he going to go, side or corner? He's going corner. I don't hate it. He doesn't have a whole lot better. That side pocket's just as hard. Corner might be a little easier. Ooh, he overdrew it. He's learning his English, you know. He's a lower skill level player, but, man, he's coming up quick. You know, he's learning how to use English pretty well. He doesn't have full control over it yet. He doesn't know exactly where it's going, but he knows where it's supposed to go, and he knows what he needs to put on it. Like right there, he knew he needed to draw it, you know. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to hit the cue ball again and follow forward like I did last time. Let's see if I can do it. Boom. Yes, sir. That's the match. It's a fun little game. Try it out for yourself. Grab a buddy. Say, hey, you know, we practice 20 hours a day. Let's uh, let's do something out of the ordinary today. Play a game of Karen Pool. Come back. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of it. If you have any questions, I'll answer them. Uh, until next time, peace.